Greetings, YouTube. It is I, Sakarma, coming with a quick battle from Total Bowhammer here. A little 1v1 action. Uh, myself, Sakarma, against Sir Gallant the Gay. <laughs> Great name. Uh, not to be confused with um, Sir Nefarious the Straight. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yeah not, a, not a great guy, that's Sir Nefarious. Sir Gallant the Gay is a far better man. Um, anyways, or woman. Anyways, so we're doing a little Lizard versus uh, High Elves, or Dark Elves, one of my favorite matchups in this game, because they're both pretty OP, and uh, it's fun to put them against each other, because, you know, OP, OP, then when they meet each other, it's uh, pretty balanced. But what I wanted to show this battle off, really, it's a short one, uh, really, I just wanted to show the power of High Magic. So John has touched on this, and I've touched on this, but... Um, uh, you bring a slan on a high p uh, on a, with a, a slan on uh, whatever the toilet seat, whatever it's called, the the floating uh, stool of uh, magnificence, and you give them um, tempest. And if they bring Malekith on a dragon, it's already over. Uh, so you'll and I'll, you will this will demonstrate why. Yeah, really, I'm just gonna you know I'll, I'll cast another video after this one because it's not really that exciting of a battle. I just really wanted to show how um, powerful it is. So you get him here. He comes in range. Tempest. Boom. Laser beam. Boom. Skinks. Boom. And he is going to take so much damage. Look at all this. He's just going down so quickly. Uh, and, yeah, of course you can heal it with Soul Stealer. But in this area, I mean, normally you think you're safe to just fly in. Obviously, this wasn't the best move by my opponent. But between all these things hitting him, he's just already at half health. And it was like 20 seconds. He sends a Blade Wind in somewhere. Probably because, you know, just desperation. But, uh, yeah, so we're just smoking him down. Um, so that's pretty much Malekith off the game. And then, you know, we'll just speed it up again. My opponent is... I'm not really showing this for the strategy. I just want to show how powerful high magic is. So I just keep the slant on him. I put him up here. I don't mind that he's taking shots. He has some pretty uh, decent missile resistance, I think. I don't remember what it is. Uh, let's check real quick. Uh, the slan. What is his missile resistance? Yeah, 40%. So he'll take damage, but not crazy, crazy amount. Um, but I do want to keep him uh, focused on Malekith. I have these guys, Chameleon Skinks, in here ready to pounce when I need them to. And then he does bring Malekith in, because he has to. Otherwise, I'll win the infantry fight. I have, a, I have my... Uh, Sora's Fetra, and I have my cold ones, you know, we're on the flanks, he's in trouble. But he comes in, boom, hit him with Tempest again, he's in range of these Chameleon Skinks, and he is just gonna go down so quick. As you can see, already he's at, like, well, almost nothing, and we're just smoking him, smoking him, smoking him, and I have the Crocscar, I have the laser beam hitting him, and he's gone. And at that point, it's over, because they have no answer to my, my dinosaurs, so we're just gonna mop it up here. So they just go, ah, da da you know, just mop him up, get him in the back, do do And then, you know, they're gonna do some damage to the Scar Veteran, sure, big deal. But, yeah. So that is the power of, of high magic. You can just absolutely wreck units like that. And then, you know, they're just going to start mass routing without Malekith. He does come back, but I think I get him one more. Yeah, I get him one more Tempest. And then he dies. <laughs> Poor Malekith. And then that's it. Their whole crum army just crumbles. So just, uh, yeah, the true power of magic, uh, of um, Malekith uh, was on display there. But let's do a little another fun one. Uh, two for the price of one, guys. It's Karma's uh, Fantasy Emporium. So this is a little nice fun matchup between uh, Chaos and uh, High Elves against El Kiador, and I wanted to bring... Oh, GG to Sir Gallant the Gay, by the way. Uh, may you may you have better luck in the future against Lizards, because... Uh, and uh, Bring Malkith on a Dragons. Whew, very risky. And if they and it's, it's tough, because if they bring um, Kropgar, uh, you're going to have very you're gonna have a hard time taking him down without Dark Shards. Eh, it's, it's a tough matchup now. Well, it's, it's a little bit of counterplay. Anyways, so I wanted to bring the Flight of the Manticores. Um, again, it's another short battle. Uh, but I wanted to bring a Manticore build and see how it would work, and it does kind of work, uh, as you'll see. Um, so right away, so what did I bring? I brought a bunch of, I brought three, uh, great sword, great weapons, rather. A couple of Chaos Warriors Halberds to prevent against Dragon Princes. Forsaken to get around the flanks. And then one Hound, uh, over here. My opponent brought a lot of archers. One, two, three Lothram's Guard, four Lothram's Guard with spears. Um, uh, Phoenix Guard, I guess he's expecting Shagaths. And then, uh, Dragon Princes. Actually, not a bad build. Um, I just think my, yeah, because, uh, that'll do well against Shagaths. Uh, they'll be able to shoot down, um, ranged, and uh, these guys are, well, maybe one lore master, sword master of hold would have been better, just to take down uh, these great weapons, but it's all the same. Anyways, over here, uh, I start running away with my runner horseman. I don't know how he's catching me, uh, 78 versus 90. I don't know how he's catching me, but he is, so I have to cast cast a desperation, um, I have two, yeah, I have, I have these guys moving around too, they got shot a little bit, but I have to cast a desperation Malakos Mystic Miasma to slow them down, uh, and they're still keeping up with them, but I'm able to finally route the, or, uh, outrange them a little bit. That's fine by me. Uh, he does get these guys in range and do a little bit of damage. Uh, it's kind of not the end of the world. Uh, but I move these Forsaken around. Um, over here, we're engaging across the front line. I'm going to lose this battle pretty handily, but that's okay. He chases my hounds in the corner. I don't know why he did that. A bit of a misplay, I think, on their part, but um, it's all right. So he, he's, he's trying to shoot these guys. I want to get these Dragon Princes nailed down, so I put all these units into them, and they just got a nice charge on them. I start popping abilities. Uh, what abilities did I bring on uh, this guy, you ask? Uh, I brought... 
uh, Pendant of Slanesh, which I think is a cool ability. It only affects him, so it's pretty expensive, but 44 melee attack, 24% speed, pretty, pretty, uh, has a lot of utility there. A Deadly Onslaught, just, you know, in case you brought a dragon, and then stand your standard die, which I think is a solid unit when you're gonna, if you're expecting a, um, a pile up in the sky. And then I brought him with, uh, his sort of, like, Mark of Corn, which basically just gets him Frenzy. I think it's an effective ability. And then I have the, um, uh, Chaos Warrior, or sorry, Chaos, Lo uh, Caster. Uh, sorry, Shadow Caster, Chaos Sorcerer on a Manticore, and I have Melkoffs, and Fieldbeak Foe, and Pendulum Penumbra Bro. So that's what we're going over there. Um, so as you can see, we're engaged on the front lines. They are beating my uh, Chaos Warriors, but it's two on one. Over here, they're doing pretty decently, considering the cost difference. Um, he brings in Teclas over here uh, to try and support against these Forsaken, but that's not going to do much. Uh, Teclas will actually lose the Forsaken too. I get a nice um, Melkoffs again on these guys to slow them down and take some damage, and they're getting... Uh, arrows in the back. Cast fire complication here. It's going to do almost nothing. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I think maybe my opponent was a little bit new, but, uh, yeah, it's just a fun battle here with the Manticores. It does more damage to him than it does to me. A little, a little bit of damage on there. Um, I send this uh, exalted hero in to fight these guys, and the cool thing about Manticores is their attack emanations are so um, janky that they just charge through units so easily, and they're, it's really easy for them to pull in and pull out. He nets... Um, my lord, but I'm still kind of moving. I guess I'm being pushed by the other Manticore. <laughs> He's being helped out by his buddy, so that's kind of cool. I bring these hounds. They've been rounding around the whole game. I finally bring them around in the corner here. I get these guys any costs. Uh, flock and doom. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I think, yeah, these guys have, fi have gotten rid of these dragon princes. They just weren't able to catch them after that. Um, but yeah, so uh, their attack animations are really janky. As you can see, he lands here. And he's, he might do that thing where he like pulls through. But yeah, look at that. He just walks through those units. So they're really effective at tackle charging. And they don't take that much damage against spears. Problem is their armor is pretty low and they're quite slow, and they're not going to be dragons. Um, so they're not the best unit in the game, but they're kind of fun. And then over here, so as you start to route, I you know swing back in the air, and then I'm going to get uh, I think a pendulum penumbra somewhere here. Uh, this would have been a nice little line to do it on, but I think I do it here. Uh, you'll see in a second. Uh, so I'll speed it up because it's almost over. This is the last uh, part of the battle here, so I just swing up here. Um, I get a nice little pendulum penumbra. It's going to come right through. These two units, so it does a lot of damage there, does a lot of damage there, and I guess my opponent was just like, alright, this is over, and they conceded defeat. So a couple of quickies there, I'm uh, just showing, uh, one was, you know, more of a fun build, and one was more of a meta build, so high magic against Dark Elves, very effective, Manticores, meh, kind of fun. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the takeaway from today. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you around the bend.